And we're gonna get started with our 10 jumping jacks. So you can do 10 high or low impact jacks. Once you have done your 10 jumping jacks, we're gonna alternate your 10 front lunges. Keep the lunge nice and small. You don't need to go very deep. We just wanna warm up hips, knees, and ankles. So we're gonna do five on the left, five on the right. Once you've done your 10 total, we're gonna go into some leg swings. So feel free to hold on to something for balance if you need it. If you don't have anything close by, get your eyes onto a focal point, tighten up those abs, and then swing arm, opposite arm to opposite leg, and that's gonna help with the balance. Once you have done 10 leg swings on each leg, come down onto the floor, high plank or push up position. So everyone's on hands and toes. And we're gonna go into that spider climb with a rotation for 10. So stepping foot to the same hand, nice and wide. Take that hand, open up towards the ceiling. Set that foot back. Same thing on the other side. Make sure your eyes follow the hand all the way up. Taking that extra second or two to really open up through that hip, chest, and shoulder. So once you've done your five on the left, five on the right, stay down in your high plank or push up position. And we're gonna finish off with either 10 plank toe taps or jacks. So you can either jump or step the feet out to the side. And then once you're done, stand it up. Grab your dumbbell or kettlebell for that two-handed swing. Woo! All right, make sure you got some water close by as well, guys. So we're gonna do 35 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Each circuit gets done four times and we got three circuits to get through. So, move number one, we're gonna do that swing. Make sure your dumbbell or kettlebell is in front of you. Push those hips back, keep that chest up, shoulders down and back. We're gonna hike pass, then stand up and swing through. Then we're gonna come down on the floor, on your back, for some abdominal leg raises. All right, climber, 35 seconds. Here we go, so push those hips back, abs tight, hike pass, swing through. Push those hips back into the wall behind you. Abs are nice and tight, keep that chest up. As you stand up, squeeze those glutes. Nice work. So this can be done with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Either or will work. Technique is the same. We've got 10 seconds left. We're gonna come down on the floor, on your back. We're gonna get set up to do some abdominal leg raises. Good, park it. Hit the deck. Legs up, tuck those hands just underneath the hips. Keep your back pushed down to the floor. Now you can lower either two legs down to the floor or you can alternate singles. The key is to use those abs to pull the legs back up towards the ceiling. Don't worry about how low you lower the legs to the floor. You don't have to go all the way down. Work within a range is good for you. And that your back does not come up off the floor. When the timer goes, we're gonna stand up. We got goblet squats coming up. Three, two, and one. Come on up, goblet squats. So grab one dumbbell, one kettlebell, whatever you want to use. Get the weight up in front at the chest. We're going to grab a seat, stand nice and tall. So chest up, eyes on a focal point will help with that posture. Abs are always engaged. Push those hips back into your squat, and then drive through those heels, squeezing those glutes as you stand back up. I want you to get as low as you can into the squat. We got 10 seconds left. We're gonna grab two dumbbells. We're gonna get set up to do a wide row for the back. In four, three, two, good. All right, I need two dumbbells. Palms face the legs. Knees soft, push those hips back. We're gonna come up nice and wide with those elbows. So driving those elbows up and back, and then coming back down in front of the legs. I need eyes on the floor. We need a nice flat back or neutral spine. Abs are nice and tight. Knees soft, hips push back. 
I want you to think chest out, shoulder blades together as you drive those elbows up and back towards your ceiling. All right, guys, we got about five seconds left. We're back to the top, starting with our two-handed swing. In three, two, all right. Find your dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you're using. We got about five seconds. Two-handed swings to get us going. So push those hips back, keep that chest up. High pass, swing through. I need tight abs. We gotta support that lower back. Push those hips back. Squeeze those glutes as you stand up, keeping your head and chest up. So eyes are kind of looking down on about a 45 degree angle to keep that nice tall posture. All right guys, five seconds. We're down on the floor. We're gonna go back to those abdominal leg raises. All right, Woo. All right, on the floor, hands under the hips. Now, if you want more of a challenge, grab a dumbbell. Keep your shoulders lifted with the weight. Lower either one or two legs. Use those abs to pull back up. So this is that alternative. If you want to make this move a little bit harder, you don't have to. You can go with just body weight, hands under the hips, head down, still using those abs to pull the legs back up towards the ceiling. When the timer goes, we got those goblin squats to come up. We have about five seconds left. You can use the dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you got. Come on up. Goblin squats. So get your feet just a smidgen wider so you can get nice and deep. Weight up in front. We're going to grab a seat. Stand nice and tall. Keep those abs tight, chest up. So eyes on the focal point are going to help with that posture. And then I want you to sit back into that chair, weight on my heels, keeping that chest up. Squeeze those glutes as you stand up. All right, we got 15 seconds left. We're going to grab two dumbbells. We're going to get set up. We got that wide row for the back. All right, we got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we need two dumbbells. Palms face the legs. Knees soft, push that butt back, shoulders down and back. Drive those elbows up and back towards the ceiling. Keep your eyes on the floor. We need that neutral spine, abs are tight. Knees soft, hips back. I want you to think chest out, shoulder blades together, giving that upper to mid back a good squeeze at the top. All right, we got about 10 seconds left, two more rounds. We're gonna go back to that two-handed swing with either a dumbbell or a kettlebell. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab your dumbbell or kettlebell for that swing. Think about a step back from your weight. Push those hips back, head up, high pass, swing through. Keep those abs tight to support the lower back. Find that focal point for the eyes. Push those hips back into the wall behind you. And then squeeze those glutes as you stand up. Make sure you're not lifting the weight with the arms. The arms are just along for the ride. The momentum from the legs is what's moving the weight. We got three seconds, guys. We're gonna hit the floor. Park it. Dominal leg raises. Remember, you can add a dumbbell if you want for those added resistance. Keep the shoulders elevated or head down. Drop those legs one or two at a time. Use those abs to pull the legs back up. Take your time. You don't have to get the legs to hold the floor. Work within a range that's good for you. Feel free to alternate your legs as well to take it down a notch. The key is to keep that back push down into the floor as best as you can. All right, we got goblet squats coming up in about five seconds. Go right to that timer, guys. Don't stop early on me. All right, rock and roll, come on up. Grab water if you need to. We're gonna get that weight up in front of the chest. Feet just a little wider. Grab a seat, stand tall. 
thighs back onto that focal point, abs tight. Push those hips back into your squat. Drive through those heels, squeeze your butt on the way up. Good work, guys. Come on. We got 15 seconds left. I want you to get as low as you can. Work on that range of motion. 10 seconds. We're gonna go back to that wide row for the back. So we're gonna grab two dumbbells. In four, three, two. Woo! Two dumbbells, wide row. Palms face the leg. Soften those knees, stick that butt out. Shoulders down and back. Drive those elbows up nice and wide for ceiling. Keep your eyes on the floor, abs engaged, which means we're keeping that belly button pulled back towards the spine. Elbows coming up nice and wide, give you that upper and mid back, we're going to squeeze at the top. We got 15 seconds. We've got one more round, starting with that two-handed swing, using either a dumbbell or a kettlebell. We got four, three, two, and one. All right, find your way. Make sure you're a step back, about a step from your weight. Soften those knees, push those hips back, grab your weight, high pass, swing through. Make sure when you do your swings, you're not starting from here and then kicking out from the hips. Much harder on the back. Keep that chest up, guys. Remember, we're using the momentum from the legs to move the weight. Don't lift it with the arms. We got 10 seconds. We're gonna come back down on the floor. We got our abdominal leg raises. In four, three, two, perfect. Hit the deck. Tuck those hands under the hips to add a weight if you want. Get that back push down into the floor. Lower those legs. Use those abs to pull the legs back up. I want you to put all the focus on what those abs are doing. Make them work. Don't use the quads to lift the legs back up. Focus on those abs. Drive that belly button down in the spine. Make them contract to move the legs. All right, guys, 10 seconds. Two moves left, starting with that wide row for the back. That's not true, we got all the squats first. Woo! There it is, come on up. Goblet squats, one dumbbell, get it up in front. Get your feet just a little wider. We're gonna grab a seat, stand nice and tall. So, shoulders down and back, head up. Push those hips back into your squat. Weight on the heels of your feet. You can even keep your toes up a little bit in your shoes if that helps shift your weight back and then squeeze those glutes as you stand up. All right, we got about 10 seconds, guys. We're gonna grab two dumbbells. We're gonna get set up to do our wide row one more time. In five, four, three, two. All right, need two dumbbells for these rows. And then we're gonna grab some water. We're gonna move on. Knee soft, push that butt back, palms face the legs. Drive those elbows up and back. Eyes on the floor, abs nice and tight. You want to give those shoulder blades a good squeeze at the top. So you should feel that mid to upper back contract when your elbows are up towards your ceiling. We got 15 seconds left. We're going to grab some water and we're going to come down. No, we're not on the floor yet. We got lateral lunges to start off that second circuit. We got five, four, three, two, Woo! What a break! Time you see is the same exercises are gonna change. So, lateral lunges are standing. Everything else is down on the floor. So make sure you've got your mat close by. All right, lateral lunges. You can hold on to two dumbbells, one, or go body weight. And then we're down on the floor to hold the plank so you know where we're heading. All right, guys, let's keep moving. Here we go. Start with those feet together. Step it out to the side, feet together, other side. So we're gonna alternate left and right. I need that chest up, so put your eyes up onto a focal point. Keep those abs nice and tight. 
We're gonna step out to the side, pushing that hip out and back, keeping your weight on that outside leg. Good work, guys. We've got about 10 seconds left here. We're gonna come down and hold the plank. So everyone's on their forearms, either from the knees or the toes. You choose. We got three, two, knees or toes, or start on the toes, drop down to the knees if you need to. All right, pop it up. I need a nice flat back. So I don't want your hips up in the air. I don't want your hips dropped down to the floor. Nice flat back like a table. So pull that belly button up into the spine. Line up those elbows and shoulders. Eyes on the floor. Good job, guys. We have about 10 seconds left here. We're gonna stay in our plank position and we're gonna do a reptile for the obliques. So either on the knees or on the toes, either from the hands or the forearms. So up on the hands will be easier because there's more room for that leg to move. Forearms will be a bit harder. But we're in plank position. Bring that knee wide, set it back. Same thing on the other side. So we're basically doing these little oblique crunches. So as that knee comes to the elbow, think of bringing that oblique, or sorry, that hip and rib together. And then same thing on the other side. Good work, guys. We've got to keep that nice plank position. So eyes on the floor for that flat back. Abs stay nice and tight. We've got 10 seconds left here. We're going to stay down on the floor for tricep push-ups. In three, two, so make sure your hands are right underneath the shoulders. You can do this either from the knees or from the toes. If you want to elevate your hands up off the floor from the toes, that will make it a bit easier as well. So dropping that chest straight down, keep those elbows tucked in, and then push away from the floor. Eyes on the floor for that nice flat back. Abs are nice and tight. So keep that belly button pulled up towards the spine. Watch that your hips don't stay up in the air. Watch that they don't drop to the floor. We've got 10 seconds. We're gonna roll it over onto our back. We got five, four, three, two. All right, on your back, we're gonna do a hip bridge into a crunch combination. So get your heels nice and close, hands behind the head. So from here, you're gonna do one hip bridge. And then lift the shoulders for that crunch. One hip bridge, one crunch. Push through the heels for that hip bridge. Drive that belly button into the floor for that abdominal crunch. Squeeze those glutes, get up onto that shoulder blade for the hip bridge. And then use those abs to lift the shoulders as high as you can for that crunch. Good work, four seconds, we're back to the top. All right, guys, lateral lunges. Now all we have to do is rinse and repeat. So two dumbbells, one or body weight. We're gonna step out to the side, feet together, other side, feet together, eyes on that focal point. Keep that belly button pulled back in towards the spine. Push that hip out and back as you step out to the side, keeping your weight on that outside foot. We got 15 seconds left here. We got our plank holds coming up. So everyone's on forearms, either from their knees or toes. In five, four, three, two, check the deck, we got our planks. So everyone's on their forearms, knees or toes, or a bit of both. Pop it up. I need a nice flat back. So keep those hips down, eyes on the floor. Think of a pillow sitting on your back that can't fall off. Keep those uh, abs nice and tight. So keep that belly button pulled up towards the spine. Drop to the knees if you need to. We got 15 seconds left here. We have those plank reptiles coming up in 10 seconds. You can do the reptiles from the knees or the toes hands or forearms. There it is. Good work. So choose your medicine for the reptiles. 
Hands are forearms, knees are toes. We're doing a combination of eyes on the floor, get that knee nice and wide, set it back, same thing on the other side. So dropping down to the forearms makes it harder. There's less room for the leg to move. Coming from the toes, or sorry, from the knees and forearms will be your easiest. And then from the toes will be your hardest, and then you drop them down. We've got 10 seconds left. Keep those hips down, abs tight, back flat. We're gonna do those tricep push-ups next. You got two seconds. All right, get those hands right underneath the shoulder, knees or toes. Feel free to elevate your hands off the floor to make it a little easier. Drop that chest straight down. Keep those elbows tucked. Push away from the floor. I don't care how low you go. I want those elbows tucked in, back flat, and tight. So technique first, and then you'll be able to go down deeper into this tricep push-up. We got 15 seconds, guys. Come on. We're gonna roll over for that hip bridge, abdominal crunch combination. Come on, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Flip it over, hands behind the head. Feet flat on the floor, knees bent. One, get bridge. One, abdominal crunch. Good. Push through those needles for that hip bridge. Drive that belly button into the floor for that abdominal crunch. Squeeze that butt as you get up onto the shoulder blades. And then use those abdominals to lift those shoulders up and off the floor. We got 10 seconds, guys. Two rounds left. We're gonna go back to that lateral lunge. We're gonna grab two dumbbells, one or go body weight. That's it. Rock and roll. Come on up. Grab some water if you need to. Starting with those feet together. Step it out to the side. Feet together. Head up, chest up. Push that hip out and back as you step out to the side. Make this step as big or as small as you need to. Keeping the weight on that outside foot. Good work and chest up. So don't let your eyes look down at the floor. Eyes up and that's gonna help with your tall posture. We got 10 seconds guys, we're back down on the floor to hold the plank. Everyone's on their forearms, either from the knees or toes. Woo, next. Grab some water if you need to guys. Everyone's on their forearms, knees or toes. Pop it up. I need a nice flat back like a table. Eyes on the floor. Belly button pulled up towards the spine. Start on the toes, drop down to the knees if you need to to finish. Just watch that the hips don't start to pop up or drop. We've got 15 seconds. We'll give these arms a little bit of a shake. We've got those reptiles coming up. Hands or forearms, knees or toes. In five, four, three, two, nice work. All right guys, pick your medicine for these reptiles, really thinking about what those obliques are doing as that knee comes to the same elbow. Oh, off you go, hold on one second. Hold on, there we go. So pop it up. Feet come wide, set it back. Eyes on the floor, back nice and flat. Get that knee as close to the elbow as you can. Thinking of that little mini crunch between the hip and the rib. Good work, guys. Come on, 15 seconds left. Tricep push-ups are coming up. We got 10 seconds, take it right to that timer. We'll give these arms a little bit of a shake. We're gonna get set up for our triceps in five. Four, three, two. All right, shake it out. Hands are gonna come right underneath the shoulders, knees or toes for these tricep push-ups. Pop it up, drop that chest straight down, keeping those elbows tucked in, and then push away from the floor. I need a flat back, so eyes are on the floor, abs are nice and tight, hips stay square to the floor. 
Again, I don't care how low you lower to the floor. Technique first, you've got 15 seconds. We're gonna roll it over. Hip bridge with that abdominal crunch. We got five seconds. Come on, guys. Push it right to the end. In four. Three. Two. Oh, roll it over. Hip bridge crunch. Hands behind the head. All right. Push through the heels. Squeeze that butt. Tap it down. Lift those shoulders. Good. Take your time in each movement. Focus on what's happening with that hip bridge. Focus on what's happening with that abdominal crunch. Make sure you're contracting the muscles that need to be contracted to go into that particular motion. Come on, guys. We've only got one round of this left. One more circuit, and then we're done. Four seconds, we're gonna stand it up. All right, grab your dumbbells. One, two, or body weight. Last time with these lateral lunges. Starting with your feet together. Step it out to the side. Head up, chest up, so get your eyes up onto a focal point. Keep that belly button pulled back towards the spine. Weight on the outside foot as you step out to the side. You got it, guys, come on. You can always start with two dumbbells, drop down to one. Start with one, drop down the body weight to finish off your 35 seconds. We got 10 seconds left. We're back down on the floor to hold that plank. Everyone's on their forearms, either from the knees or toes. There it is, hit the deck. Grab water on the way down if you need to. Get ready to pop it up. Eyes on the floor, back nice and flat. Think of your back as a nice table. Keep that belly button pulled up towards the spine. Watch that the hips don't creep up or drop down to the floor. Start on the toes, drop down to the knees. Start on the knees, elevate the hands off the floor. If you need to make it even easier to keep going for these 35 seconds. Five seconds left, guys. Reptiles are coming up. Woo! Shake it out. All right. Either hands or forearms, knees or toes. Really think about what those obliques are doing as that knee comes nice and wide. So, knee comes wide. We're going to contract that oblique. Thinking of bringing that rib and hip even closer together. Eyes on the floor. Keeping the abs nice and tight, hips square to the floor. Come on guys, this is our last round of this circuit. We got 15 seconds. We're gonna go into our tricep push-ups next. Woo! Give these arms a little bit of a shake in five, four, three, two. Nice work guys, shaking out of tricep push-ups, knees or toes. Get your hands right underneath those shoulders like two pillars. Drop that chest straight down. Push away from the floor. I need a flat back so my eyes are on the floor. Keep those elbows tucked in. Abs tight, hips square. Don't worry about how low you go. Come on guys, 15 seconds. Let's go right to that timer. We're gonna finish this circuit off strong. We've only got one move left. Come on. Let's go. We've got five, four, three, two. Whoa. Burn, baby, burn. Flip it over, hands behind the head. Let's go into that hip bridge with the crunch. Get ready to push through those heels. Squeeze that butt, drive that belly button down, lift those shoulders. Good, take your time in each movement. Focus on what the muscles are doing as you go into your hip bridge and as you lift those shoulders up and off your floor. Nice work, guys. Come on, 15 seconds left. We're gonna take a big old water break. We're gonna start our last circuit down on the floor. We got about five seconds left. Let's go right to that timer. Come on, we got three, two, there's one. Nice work, guys. Grab some water, one circuit left. We've got three moves, two on the floor, one standing. Whew, 
So we're gonna start with some up down planks, either from the knees or the toes. You can start on the hands or the forearms, doesn't matter to me. So we're here. We're gonna drop it down. We're gonna come up. Then we're gonna stand up and we're gonna go back to our two handed swing, dumbbell or kettlebell. Then we're back down on the floor to do plank hip dips. Everyone's on their forearms, knees or toes. So let's get started with these up down planks. So grab your mat. You can do this from the knees or the toes. I'll leave that up to you. All right, you ready? Here we go. Drop down to the forearms and then pop back up onto the hands. Switch lead sides if you can. We are doing four rounds. So if you want to lead all on the left on this round and then do all on the right on the next round, totally fine. Keep your eyes on the floor. We need that flat back, abs tight. Keeping our hips as square to the floor as possible. We got about 10 seconds left, guys. We're gonna stand up, find our dumbbell or kettlebell for that two-handed swing. Woo! There it is. Find your weight. So again, we did this move back in the first circuit, so now we're just repeating it. I want you to get those hips back, shoulders down and back, height pass, push through. Squeeze that butt as you stand up. Push those hips back into the wall behind you. Abs are tight. Chest and eyes are up for that nice neutral spine. Come on, we got 15 seconds. Make sure you're not lifting the weight with those arms. Use the momentum of the legs. All right, guys, come on, five seconds. Plank hip dips are coming up. Woo! There it is. All right, everyone's on their forearms, either from the knees or toes. We're gonna go back to these obliques. So pop it up, feet a little wider. Drop your hip to one side, use those obliques to pull back to center. And then same thing on the other side. So drop, center, drop, center. Keeping that back flat, abs nice and tight. Your feet are gonna move around a little bit. So just keep adjusting your feet as you dip left and right. All right, guys, about five seconds left. Stay down on the floor for those up-down planks. Woo! Oh, yeah. All right, knees or toes for these up-down planks. All right, eyes on the floor. Drop it down. Pop it up. Don't worry about your speed. I want you to control the motion up and down, keeping your eyes on the floor, back flat, abs tight. Get those feet nice and wide if you're on your toes. It's gonna help minimize that rock from side to side. All right, guys, five seconds. We get to stand it back up for those swings. In four, three, two, Swing time! Kettlebell or dumbbell, guys. Woo! All right, push those hips back, chest up, high pass, swing through. Make that butt crank in the wall behind you. Squeeze that butt as you stand up. Abs tight. Keep the chest and eyes up for that nice neutral spine. Make sure your arms are just along for the ride, guys. We got about 10 seconds left. We're gonna go back to those plank hip dips. Come on, we got about five seconds. Let's go, right to that timer. Three, two, target. Hit the deck, everyone's on forearms. Either from the knees or the toes. Using those obliques to go from side to center, side to center. Eyes on the floor. Drop that hip, obliques pull you back to the center, drop to the other side. So your feet are gonna move. Just keep adjusting your feet as you dip those hips left and right. Keep that belly button pulled up into the spine, eyes on the floor. We got 10 seconds, guys. Two rounds left. We're gonna go back to those up-down planks in about five seconds. Come on, three, two, Take it out. All right, up down planks, knees or toes. If you're doing
same, all one side. You're back to that first side now. All right, pop it up. Drop down to the forearms, pop back up onto the hands. Either alternate with me or stay all on one side, which means you're back onto that first side that you did in round one. Eyes on the floor. Come on, keep that belly button pulled up into the spine. We got 15 seconds. We're back to our kettlebell swings. Dumbbell or a kettlebell. Come on, we got five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, grab your weight. Set it in front. Take about a step back. We got two seconds. Push those hips back, shoulders down and back, right past, swing through. Remember, arms are along for the ride. Use the momentum generated by those legs to move the weight. Head up, chest up, abs tight. Make that butt front in the wall. Squeeze those glutes as you stand up. 10 seconds, come on. We're gonna go back for a plank hip dips. Everyone's on their forearms, knees or toes. Park in. Nice work, guys. Hit the deck. Woo! Hip dips, and then only one round left. Pop it up. Knees or toes. Drop that hip. Use those obliques to pull back to the center. Keep your eyes on the floor. Abs nice and tight. Come on guys, think about what those obliques are doing. Make this range of motion as big as you can. Keeping that back flat, abs tight, eyes on the floor. Come on, we got 10 seconds. One round left. Last time with these up down planks. In five, four, three, two. Shake it out. Oh, one more round guys. We got five seconds. Up, down, planks, knees, or toes. All right, let's get this done. Pop it up, drop it down, come on up. So if you're sitting all on one side, you're on that second side. If not, you're alternating with me, keeping your eyes on the floor, belly button pulled up into that spine, hips down. Come on guys, 15 seconds. Two rounds, or sorry, two moves left, starting with that kettlebell swing. 10 seconds, come on. You got this. We got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab your weight. Set it in front. Take about a step back. We're gonna push those hips back. Shoulders down and back, chest up. High pass, swing through. Good, squeeze that butt as you stand up. Abs are tight. Chest up, eyes up. Make sure your arms are just along for the ride. Good work, guys. 15 seconds, one. Move left. We're gonna finish off playing hip dips. 10 seconds, let's go. Right to that timer, stay with me. Five, four, three, two. Woo! Plank, hips, dips, and then we are done. 35 more seconds, guys. Stay with me. Knees or toes. Here we go. Drop that hip. Use those obliques to pull it back to center. Eyes on the floor. Keep those abs tight. Just keep moving your feet as they slide. Come on, guys. Let's finish strong. 15 seconds. We're going to grab some water. Roll it over and get stretched out. 10 seconds, come on. Here we go, five, four, three, two. Woo! Done and done. Grab some water, guys. Meet me on the back. We're gonna tuck those knees into the chest. Oh, oh that was a sweaty one. Tuck those knees in, give a nice big hug. Take some nice big deep breaths. And then when you're ready, arms are gonna come out to the side. Drop those knees to the left or right. You can hold it here. 
or you can extend that top leg for a deeper stretch. Keeping that opposite arm down on the floor for a chest and shoulder stretch. Switching sides whenever you're ready. Just drop the knees and hold or extend that top leg for a deeper stretch. Keeping that opposite arm on the floor as best as you can. And then we're gonna just roll into our hamstrings. So coming back to center, one leg up, get that leg nice and straight, grabbing on above or below the knee or the toe. You wanna get the leg as straight as you can, and then if you need a deeper stretch, extend the opposite leg out in front. And then we'll just switch sides whenever you're ready. Get that leg nice and straight, grabbing above or below the knee or the toe. And then extending the opposite leg if you need a deeper stretch. And then we're gonna just flow into our figure four. So we're gonna cross an ankle over a knee. Either push that knee away with the same hand or grab onto the uncrossed leg and pull in for a deeper stretch. Still taking some nice big deep breaths to slow down that heart rate, slow down that breathing, and then switching sides whenever you're ready. So either pushing that knee away with the hand or grabbing onto the other cross leg and pulling in for a deeper stretch. We're gonna rock and roll. We're gonna sit all the way up with our legs straight out in front, reaching for those toes. Grabbing onto ankles, shoelaces, or toes. Just getting another stretch through the calves, hamstrings, and lower back. And then bringing the soles of the feet together for an inner leg stretch. Getting your heels in as close as you can. Grab those ankles, push down with the elbows if you need a deeper stretch. And then we're gonna go into our spinal twist. One leg out, cross the leg over, give that knee a nice big hug. Twist to look behind you. Getting a stretch through the hip of the cross leg and the lower back. And then we're just gonna switch sides whenever you're ready. Give that knee a nice big hug, twist to look behind you as much as you can. And then we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. We're gonna flex the feet, drive those hips up into the ceiling, pushing our heels down into the floor for a nice calf stretch. Getting our head between the shoulders. Then we're gonna slowly walk our feet towards our hands. We're gonna hang like a rag doll. I want you to think of separating those shoulder blades apart. And then slowly standing it up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Bringing those shoulders down and back, interlacing those hands. Open up through the chest and the front of the shoulder. Keeping those shoulders down and away from your ears. Bring one arm across the body. Get that nice stretch from around the back of the arm or the back of the shoulder. And then you're just gonna swing those arms to switch sides. We're gonna go into a tricep stretch so everybody's gonna give themselves a big cut in the back. Push that elbow back with the same hand or the opposite hand, getting a nice stretch down the back of the arm. And then just switching sides whenever you're ready. We're gonna finish off with our quads. So if you need a wall to hang on to, find your space. We're gonna grab onto an ankle, keep those knees close, posture tall, and then push your hips forward if you need a deeper stretch. When you're ready, give that leg a little bit of a shake and then simply switch sides, grabbing the ankle, getting that knee nice and close, posture tall, pushing that hip forward. Nice job, guys. And you are done.